trying to let you go behind the ghost So would you just take my hand and let's go Grab a cup of coffee, pour it over ice, take it for a walk or talk when we were in seventh grade You knew every crush of mine We'd always talk all night And now that we're all grown up You've disappeared for a while I wish that I knew why I think it's been about six months Did you forget about our plans To see each other soon? Cause I was buying that Just to see you in the middle of December We'll drive your Mercedes Down the beaches in Miami Getting drunk at Disney But some friendships Don't stay the same We haven't talked that much since June I'm afraid that I lost you I hate we grew apart I never said goodbye Maybe we both just needed space Maybe a different time and place What if we could just rewind? I think it's been about six months Did you forget about our plans? To see each other soon Cause I was flying out just to see you in the middle of December We'll drive your Mercedes down the beaches in Miami Getting drunk at Disney But some friendships don't stay the same Không còn gì để bước cuộc đời một giây đầu đó không thuận lợi mà đôi mình 
lại có cuộc chơi Ngã đầu lên trên gói thật em kia Đi vào trong màn đêm Chia thêm bia from my previous video on budgeting so i decided to share another video this time it's a detailed budgeting for fresh grad before i go to the detailed budgeting let me share the persona that we are going to use our persona is a fresh grad working as an entry-level software engineer she's single she's not providing for her family she'll be keeping all her take-home pay She's also physically fit and not regularly going to the hospital for any treatment. Also, another privilege as a software engineer is having a hybrid setup so we can save money on our budget for going to the office. I made a research on the starting salary for software engineer and the average starting salary I got was 25k. Let's start with the breakdown of the budget. The budget is broken down to three categories. We have the essentials, non-negotiables, and optional items. For the essentials, first, we have assigned 1,000 for home or family emergencies. I know I mentioned that our persona here is not obligated to give to her family, but I believe it's still important to keep small amount for family emergencies. Next is for the apartment, I made a research on bed spaces in condos and this is the average price I got for Manila condo um, sharing or bed space. It's a little bit pricey because we need to value safety and also I think as a fresh grad, we, ne we need to find an apartment near the office as much as possible to save time from traffic. I will explain later why this is important. Next is water bill. If you're sharing an apartment, I think this is a reasonable estimate. 
please comment down below if you think this estimate is not accurate. Next would be electricity. This is a bit high, but I'm just estimating. I live in my sister and I think the highest amount I paid for my share in electricity is around 1300 So I think this is a safe estimate. For groceries, I think this is a safe estimate as well since the inflation is really bad right now. And we don't want to sacrifice your health. You need to protect your health because it's really expensive to get sick. I suggest you try to explore your neighborhood if there's a nearest Talipapa so you can save more money in your groceries. By the way, this category already includes your toiletries and other items you need in your apartment. So basically everything you can buy from the groceries. Next is for medical. As mentioned in the disclaimer, our persona is physically fit so we just need to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Also, she got a health card or insurance from her company. So basically, this category is only for vitamins. The next category is work allowance. This is basically the budget you'll allocate for when you are going back to the office. Part of being a corporate worker is socializing or networking, so you have to set aside a budget for that as well. Let's go to the next section, which is the non-negotiables. First, we will allocate 2000 for our emergency fund. Ideally, we need to save three to six months worth of monthly expenses as emergency fund. This is really important as having an emergency fund helps you deal with financial anxiety. This will give you the headspace which is really important as a knowledge worker. Next is investment. We will allocate 1500 for this. There are a lot of investment platforms that accept fractional share investments. So you can already start investing with this amount. The platforms I'm using for my investments are eToro and GoTrade. I'm planning on creating a separate video on investment for beginners as well, so watch out for that. Another important category of the non-negotiables is the education. I have allocated 1000 for this. As a software engineer, you need to constantly learn new th skills. This also includes soft skills, people skills, and leadership skills, which you will need to progress in your career. One of my regrets was not buying a personal laptop so I can enroll or buy online courses for career development. If you don't have a personal laptop like me, I suggest to save for this first. Sacrifice your first 13th month bonus to buy a good laptop you can use to study coding or take online courses. Company provided laptops for software engineers usually blocks access to external sites like Coursera or Udemy. For education, you can either buy online courses from Udemy and Coursera or buy books on productivity, leadership, corporate politics, or any self-help books to improve your soft skills. I mentioned earlier that as much as possible, we need to save time from traffic so we can allocate more time in learning. This is the most important category because your goal as a fresh grad is to increase your salary as soon as possible so you can invest more. Next, non-negotiable is fund money. I added this in the non-negotiable section because I don't want you to feel restrained because of budgeting. You can do whatever you want with this budget depending on your definition of fun. It could be a weekend cafe self-date or trip to a bookstore. The last section is optional. I've allocated 500 for subscriptions. This could be Spotify or any video streaming sites. I've allocated 1000 for clothes and 500 for self-care. You can pair these two categories. For example, if you don't need to buy skincare this month, but you need to buy new office clothes, then you can transfer your self-care budget for clothes. That's it. I hope you got value from this video. Thank you. I've got an internet crush She's not a celebrity, but she's taken So can I fall in love? Can't take the hint and give up my mama told me don't talk to people you haven't met I guess my mama was right But it's not cause everybody you meet is dangerous But cause they'll break your heart Cause she plays it so cool making up her own rules And I'm a loser for thinking I've got Any shot in the dark now it's hitting me hard Tell me what am I supposed to do? Cause I've got an internet crush She's not a celebrity but she's taken So can I fall in love? Can't take the 
항상 처음은 설레이지 널 보러 가는 길도 마치 구름 위지 너에게 하고 싶은 말을 생각하다가 나 이렇게 나가 바보라는 것을 알게 되었어 참 바보같이 머리부터 발끝까지 콩깍지 가스연 앵커피를 들고 햇볕 아래서 널 기다리다 내 마음이 녹은 것 같아 Let's go out in the sun 느낌이 왔어 이 리듬에 맞게 발걸음에 맞춰 Fly with the wind 이 분위기를 타 떠나러 가지 못한 곳을 데려가죠 Time after time 사랑을 몰라 말들이 너무 많아 우리 걱정은 많아 나는 널 보며 지금 말해 이제 조금 느낄 수 있어 yeah. Alright This feels good, you and I Think we got something special And I don't need to try any harder It just better, it just good when I'm with you Oh, right, this feels good You and I Think we got something special And I don't need to try any harder It just better, it just good when I'm with you Oh, right 언제부터 시작한지 잘 모르 baby 너의 예쁜 목소리만 잘 알아 baby You, 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 Just that 